Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Acts chapter 27, beginning at verse 13 and ending at verse 38. This is the New King James Version. When the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their desire, putting out to sea, they sailed close by Crete. But not long after, a tempestuous headwind arose called Euro. Clydon. So when the ship was caught and could not head into the wind, we let her drive. And running under the shelter of an island called Clada, we secured the skiff with difficulty. When they had taken it on board, they used cables to undergird the ship, and fearing lest they should run aground on the Sirtis sands, they struck sail and so were driven, and because we were exceedingly tempest-tossed. The next day they lightened the ship. On the third day we threw the ship's tackle overboard with our own hands. Now when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given up. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For if there stood by me this night an angel of the God, to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as I it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Now on the fourteenth night had come, as we were driven up and down in the Adriatic Sea. About midnight the sailors sensed that they were drawing near some land. And they took soundings and found it to be twenty fathoms. And when they had gone a little farther, they took soundings again and found it to be fifteen fathoms. Then fearing lest we should run aground on the rocks, they dropped four anchors from the stern and prayed for day to come. And as the sailors were seeking to escape from the ship, when they had let down the skiff into the sea, under pretense of putting out anchors from the prow. Paul said to the centurion and the soldiers, Unless these men stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut away the ropes of the skiff and let it fall off. And as day was about to dawn, Paul implored them all to take food, saying, Today is the fourteenth day. You have waited and continue without food and eaten nothing. Therefore I urge you to take nourishment, for this is for your survival, since not a hair will fall from the head of any of you. And when he had said these things, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of them all. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. Then they were all encouraged and also took food themselves. In all, we were 276 persons on the ship. So when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and threw out the wheat into the sea. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.